so now this is the problem number 3 so in the sheet given to you so once you see this particular three figures so the very first thing that you have to understand is so regarding the side view so where is the side view uh, since uh, these two figures are above one another okay so that means one will be the front view and another one will be the top view and uh, depending upon the side view only so you have to start uh, from where you have to give the front view okay so depending upon that uh, your front view will uh, the front view direction will depend okay so here uh, since the side view is there on the right side of the front view okay so i hope you understand this uh, it is little difficult so but uh, if you try to concentrate so i hope you can uh, clearly understand okay uh, so the side view is there on the right side of the front view that means so it should be the left side view so the left side whatever the thing that we are able to see from the left okay so uh, that it will be placed on the right side of the front view so that means so now uh, your front view will be from this end so your front view will be uh, here and uh, your side view will be over here so if this becomes side view so this will be your uh, uh, left side view that's why it is placed on the right side okay so now uh, for this problem also what i will be doing is i will be uh, starting with the top view where you can see some uh, h shape kind of thing okay so you have to clearly understand uh, uh, so this particular uh, dimensions and uh, related to front view and top view as well as front view and side view so like this you have to clearly see what are all the total dimensions okay and you already know that in the top view uh, we don't have any vertical lines we have all horizontal lines okay so in the top view we will be able to see the length and you will be able to see the breadth and in the front view we will be able to see the length and height and in the side view we will be able to see the breadth and height okay so in the top view what are the two dimensions the two dimensions are length so this one is nothing but the length 30 plus 50 80 80 plus 30 110 so 110 is the length and uh, so the breadth is this one so the breadth uh, here it is not given but uh, in the side view it is given okay so breadth is also 110 mm so what i am going to do here is so i am going to start uh, at this particular point okay so this particular point in the top view in the side in the front view so this is that particular point okay um so in the front view we can see a rectangular box okay so that rectangular box height is uh, 30 and uh, the same this particular distance in the top view you can see it as 30 so that means it is not rectangular box it is a kind of uh, square box okay so since this is the length and uh, this is the height okay so the height lines remains vertical in the isometric view and the length lines will be inclined at an angle of 30 degrees okay so now what i am going to do is i am going to draw so this particular length to the right side okay why i am trying to draw to the right side because okay uh, because uh, uh, the side view is the left side view so i have to uh, i have to give the space uh, this entire left side space to the uh, side view so which is the left side view so which is placed at the right side of the front view so that's why the front view will be so this particular end so it the front view goes to the right side and uh, this will be the left side view so this vertical line will be equal to 30 mm and uh, so let us assume this one as 30 and here so this one is also equal to 30 and after that uh, this vertical distance 30 and uh, this horizontal distance 30 okay so this particular block which i have drawn here is nothing but this particular block which you can see in the front view so it is having a dimensions of 30 mm by 30 mm okay so now uh, uh, if you see the top view here okay so it is not a direct straight line like this like what you are seeing in the front view so in the front view it will appear like that but if you see the top view so there is some uh, a cut portion kind of thing here okay so this one what we have to do is so inside we have 35 mm so i am trying to draw that 35 mm inside and uh, after that what we have here is we have 50 mm here so that 50 mm i am trying to draw like this and uh, after that we have another 35 mm here so another 35 mm i am trying to draw like this okay and after that this particular 30 mm over here so this particular uh, 30 mm and uh, this particular 30 mm in the front view it is also seen as uh, a square block so that's why what i am going to do is i am going to draw this distance vertical here and after that this distance and i am going to join it here over here 
okay so which completes uh, uh, these two square blocks so what i am seeing here uh, but what about uh, this middle portion here so it is not uh, a plain kind of thing so it is having some um, uh, height of some height of 30 mm over here so that's why what i am going to do is uh, from here i will be drawing another 30 mm and uh, i will join this line with this one and uh, from here i will try to draw a line like this so which will join over here so now you can see that uh, here so this particular uh, 30 mm by 30 mm square block and after that inside distance of 35 mm and after that 50 mm so this uh, uh, inside distance of 30 35 by 50 is also having a height of 30 mm 30 mm and after that we have uh, 35 mm again over here and after that 30 mm square block okay so now if you see at uh, the both sides of the uh, top view okay which are related to breadth okay so what i can do here is that breadth already we have seen in the side view as so 110 110 mm so from here what i am going to do is two, three, four, five, six. so let us assume this distance as uh, uh, 110 mm and from here also i can draw so 110 and 2 3 4 5 okay so from here also i have drawn 110 mm and similarly what you can observe is in the top view so whatever the kind of portion that is there in the front it is there at the back also okay so that's why what you have to do is so now this this particular point is nothing but this back portion of uh, the top view okay so from here what you can see is i have another 30 mm inside distance like this okay so which i will be drawing uh, just like this over here and after this this inside distance again at the back so which is 35 mm okay so from here what i will do is i will try to draw another 35 mm like this okay and uh, after that uh, 50 mm okay so 50 mm which i have to draw it like this uh, 35 mm over here and from here so from here also this particular uh, height is 35 mm so this one will get completed I think this is the extra line which I have drawn uh, just now so I think that is not needed so I am going to erase that one and uh, after that uh, I am going to I will be drawing uh, so I will be drawing this one with this okay and uh, this one with this one okay so which completes the back portion so I think uh, this one what I have done is completely extra okay so now what we have done is uh, uh, we have uh, got that h, h shape kind of thing okay so i think uh, that uh, this will be visible over here so we'll think about that uh, later okay i think it will it should be something like this uh, so now uh, in the uh, in the top view if you observe uh, there is uh, uh, a block and if you see the front view of that block so it is having here 45 mm and this inclined line so which is having a thickness of 20 mm so what i am doing here is i am just trying to mark the middle portion of that one and uh, since this thickness is 20 mm over here so i am trying to mark 10 mm uh, to the left and 10 mm to the right and from there since i know this particular block distance is uh, uh, 55 plus 35 so 55 plus 35 is nothing but 90 mm so from here uh, i am going to draw 90 mm like this and from here also i am going to draw 90 mm like this okay so where i can join it like this and after this so once i reach this 90 mm so i have a, a 45 mm line which is parallel to uh, what which is parallel to the length line so which is parallel to the length line so this length line is how much 45 mm. so that means it is parallel to the uh, lines which are uh, uh, there inclined at 30 mm uh, 30 degrees to the right side so from here uh, uh, what i will be doing is i will be just drawing a parallel line of uh, 45 mm like this and uh, from here also uh, a line 45 mm like this and i will be joining like this so this particular block which you are seeing over here okay so this particular block is nothing there and is nothing but uh, the one which is there over here so which is nothing but the one which is there so in the front view and also in the top view we can see that the same portion is there over here okay and uh, from this particular point it is directly uh, joined to this particular point to the other end 
so here also what i will be doing is i will be just marking uh, the center and uh, 10 mm to the left and uh, 10 mm to the right and from there directly i will be joining this line with this one and uh, this point with uh, this one okay so also you can see that uh, for this particular uh, thing okay so we have a horizontal line over here so that line so i'll try to draw like this that line and the only thing now uh, uh, left is uh, regarding the circle okay so the circle can be uh, already you know that uh, uh, the circle will be seen as ellipse in the isometric view so to draw that ellipse over here what we have to do is so first uh, uh, we have to identify what is the center of the circle over here okay so if you see that one so from the top it is 35 mm uh, to the uh, down side okay and uh, uh, if I observe uh, uh, this entire uh, three figures, okay, so I am not able to see this horizontal distance. So for this particular uh, uh, circle, okay. So if I bring this particular uh, this one uh, projection to the top, so here you can see that this particular line is nothing but the center of the circle, okay. So and this particular distance you can see it as 30 mm. So let me assume that. Uh, uh, from the top it is 35 mm and to the left side also it is 35 mm. So what I am going to do over here is, so from the top I will mark 35 mm out of this total uh, 90 mm and from here inside distance of another uh, 35 mm. So I will take over here and let me assume that this is the center. Okay. So before drawing the ellipse what you have to do is, so if you enclose this one uh, inside a rectangular box like this. Okay. So I am not able to draw at the right side you have to enclose this uh, circle in, into a box okay so since this is 30 uh, the diameter of the circle is 30 mm what you will get is you will get uh, um, 30 mm by 30 mm square okay so what you need to do is so you need to complete that uh, 30 mm by 30 mm uh, um, square so which is uh, which uh, will come uh, it will come something like this and uh, so if this is the center so I think uh, if you go on with uh, the four center method, so you will get something like this in the uh, in this particular block. That is nothing but the ellipse shape of uh, this particular circle. Okay. Now to eliminate uh, uh, some of the confusion, so in this figure, so what I'll try to do is, so I'll try to uh, eliminate these lines. So after which you will feel uh, comfortable, so in understanding what I have done. Okay. So these particular lines, uh, what I am trying to erase, so that particular lines uh, will go to the back side. So we'll go to the back side, so which we are not able to see from the front. Okay. And uh, this particular back side of the line, so this is also not visible. Okay. And uh, from here, when this block started, whatever there at the back side, so this is also not visible. So finally, so this is what uh, uh, we are left out with, okay. So we are left out with and uh, this is the final shape of uh, the figure or uh, the solution for this particular uh, three figures, okay. Uh, I am not able to draw this uh, little good, okay. Uh, what, let me try it once again, okay. What I am trying to do is first I have marked the center over here, okay. And after this, uh, uh, with a lesser size of the pencil because that should not be thick okay what i am trying to do is i am trying to mark 30 mm by 30 mm uh, um, square box isometric view and after that inside uh, that particular block we have our uh, ellipse ellipse it is actually a circle okay but uh, it will be seen as an ellipse in the side so this is how uh, finally the solution looks like so and uh, the next thing what you have to do is so you have to give the dimensions uh, so for this particular uh, uh, isometric view so uh, i have already explained how to give the dimensions uh, uh, for the previous figure so you have to consolidate uh, uh, the dimensions which are there in all these three figures and try to put uh, say suppose the length of this one is how much the length of this one is 110 mm so from here to here uh, by just drawing like this so what you can do is 
can mark 110 mm over here and uh, so from here to here it is again 110 mm and uh, sorry 110 mm. and uh, this particular distance is 45 and uh, the diameter of the circle is 5 30 mm so like this uh, what are the dimensions that you have in all these figures you have to consolidate them and uh, without repeating the dimension again and again so you have to give that dimension single uh, i mean uh, once okay so with this uh, we have completed uh, the problem number two uh, i think it is the problem number three so after this we will solve another four problems in this particular topic okay thank you